Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks in today's video. The other day I posted a video about how to, instead of going up here and getting your zoom tool, if you wanted to zoom to that A, and let's say you had a, let's say you had a circle over here and you're drawing and you had a couple of things and, but you wanted to, um, my computer's acting up a little bit. You wanted to zoom in on this A. Well, instead of going up and grabbing the zoom tool or pressing Z, the Z key on your keyboard, all you have to do is put that in the A and scroll with your mouse. Well, I had a lady email me or PM me on Facebook saying, that doesn't work on her mouse. It just makes the A go up and down. So what has happened, uh, somehow she changed it because I think this is pretty much default. But you can go to Tools, go to Customization, go to Display, and there it is right there, Default Action of Mouse Wheel. Scroll. Press OK. And now when you roll your mouse wheel, it just goes up and down. And that's not a terrible thing. It's just a little slow, and uh, I don't think it would really do anything. Uh, important is, is not as good as, as going up here and, and uh, being able to zoom. And uh, so we'll put it back to zoom. And then anytime you do anything that, you need to go up to tools and set as default and I'm not going to do that because I'll do that later but and then that's going to save it to default and kind of while we're on the same subject I thought it'd be kind of neat to because this was going to be such a short video would be while you're right here go to tools customization uh, edit and you can change your the size of your nodes. Now it's probably defaulted to, to small, so let's just draw a box here. Let's grab our shape tool, and there's the size of our nodes. And I don't know why you would want to really change them because that's plenty big, but you know there might be a time. So you can go up to customization. I think it was under well. I just saw it under um, thought it was under view but I don't see view let's go back to tools options maybe there we are under options and it's under edit and that I should have been able to get to that same thing under, under customization it's yes it's under edit so now you can change it to medium or large and let's just change it to large now look how large the nodes are so that's personal preference uh, there might be a case uh, that you would want that and this window keeps coming up and i'm going to show you something real quick but i'm going to change this back to just to, to, to small Let's go to uh, display and uh, or I'm, let's just start all over. Tools, customization. Right here, you can change the contrast of this bar up here. This is default. You can make it a little darker, kind of looks cooler maybe. Then you can also change the border of your boxes you know this pop-up window and and you know you could change it to blue that's just personal preference but then whenever you do anything like that you want to change it and go back and, and you know remember you know I, I like my settings at 0 .001 um, that's my nudge distance my uh, duplicate distance is zero zero in your bed size and make sure everything's correct and then just go up to tools 
and set as default. Now, in some earlier versions of Corel Draw, this is X7 or 17. Uh, it's a little bit different than just a, a quick button. So you might have to go in there and set something. But that hope that helped that lady figure out her Zoom problem. And I hope that helped. And thank you for watching.